Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Luke, and welcome back to another video, or if you're new here, a welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I post commentary and reaction videos on anything ranging from movies to TV shows to celebrities and influencers. So if any of that interests you, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications bell. Alrighty guys, today we're gonna be reacting to 50 Shades Darker, which is the sequel to 50 Shades of Grey. I recently did a reaction to the first movie in this franchise. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you would like to go ahead and check it out. Just to catch you up to speed about my perspective, I'm sexually fluid, I'm attracted to both women and men, romantically, sexually, all that kind of jazz. However, I've done romantic pursuits with both, but only ever had sex with men. Therefore, I am a heterosexual virgin, and I'm reacting to this heterosexual BDSM love story. So without further ado, let's get into it, because I'm about to dive in to Fifty Shades of Fucked Up. So the first movie ended off with Anna leaving Christian because she couldn't handle his BDSM lifestyle, and she wanted a romance that he was not willing to give, and he spanked her too hard, which just sent her over the edge. <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous, but let's just get into it. Okay, we're getting a little childhood trauma for Christian. This makes sense. No! Anastasia Steele? He's trying to win her back with gifts. Mm -mm. Christian, it's not gonna work anymore. You spanked her too hard. He couldn't even write his name on it. He had to give it to her on a letterhead. Oh my god, does she have a stalker? Mmm, finally a plot. Who's this? Fifty Shades of Blonde? <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Hyde. Oh my god. Oh my god, that creepy photographer friend of hers just did all of his photos on her. And she clearly didn't know about it. Uh, see, I never liked him from the first movie. Mm -mm. Jose, this is like so m much of my face in here. But if I had asked, you would have been like, I'm too shy. Yeah. So you're just gonna take photos of her against mm -hmm. her will and then put it in public for people to see. I can't with this man doing stuff without her consent. This is the Jacob Black of this series, if you're unaware. Fifty Shades of Grey is a loose fanfic of Twilight. Somebody likes them. They just bought all six. Oh, uh, obviously it's Christian. Let's be real. Mm, what did I say? He can't stay away. How does he just always know where she is as well? Do you think he'd be implanted a tracker in her phone? Honestly, wouldn't surprise me. It was you, wasn't it? You just went and bought all of these. I don't like strangers gawking at you. I see he's just as pushy as the first film. Why are you here? Can we talk somewhere private? No. Look, I'm not very good at this. I've never wanted to try again. Not a good Let's idea. Let's talk. Have dinner with me. Okay, fine. I will have dinner with you. She gave in too easily. Because I'm hungry. Two steaks, medium fries. Um, actually, I'm gonna have the quinoa salad. A man who orders for you, get fucked. I'm gonna choose my own food. I want you back. I'd like to renegotiate terms. The things you want, you said that's the way you are. I know that I asked you to show me how far it can go, but... Was that the further as it can go is just like spanking and that's it? I thought BDSM was like a whole bunch of different levels of stuff. You were getting off on the pain you inflicted. Isn't that what BDSM is? That's still in you. I'm working on it. Working on what? I can't do this if you won't talk to me. My birth mother died when I was four. She was an addict. Crack. You can fill in the blank. Why does he say that? Because his mother was a crack addict. That's why he gets off on slapping woman on the ass. Well, seems like someone's looking for an excuse. Just be honest. You like BDSM. It is what it is. There doesn't have to be some dark reason for it. I guess for people who like BDSM, this might suck as a movie because they're kind of saying that if you like BDSM, you're basically of a fucked up past and that's why. I'm really sorry about your mother. It's in the past. I brought you here to negotiate. You're open to new terms. No rules? No punishments? So like a relationship. A vanilla relationship? I mean, we only do what you're comfortable with. But you need all those things. I need you more. Oh, he's already giving her gifts? Like, as soon as they get back together? <laughs> Give me some of that. I'll just break up with you every week for a new gift. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> they really love making out against walls. I feel like she got back together with him so easily. I don't know how much time passed between their meetings, but I don't know. It seemed like she just... She was like, you know what? Yes, you slapped me a couple fucking times. It really hurt and you got off on that. And that's kind of fucked up because like I was in pain and you continued to do it and you could see that. But like, oh, yeah, I'll make out with you and take gifts from you. <laughs> Who's this bitch? Anastasia. I'm sorry, have we met before? It's okay. I'm nobody. You're nobody. Honestly, what? I'm so confused already. I feel like they're trying to get a plot into this that was not once here, and I want a plot, but like also, God, the introduction of it is so strange. That would be weird. I would, I would have stayed there. Imagine someone knowing you and you don't know who they are. Where is everyone? No, it's still early. No, it's not so early, Mister. You're trying to get in her pants. You can miss me. I'm reading. Mm-hmm. Christian's about to get jelly. Christian, this is Jack Hyde. I'm the boyfriend. I'm the boss. 
What do you have, Chris? Another time. I can't believe you just talked to him like that. He wants what's mine. Mm, she is not your possession. Look, he really hasn't changed. I think we should take it slow. Okay. Probably for the best since your loss experience is kind of traumatic. That's yeah, from well managed. Are people happy? Oh my god. What? You're buying SIP? No, you can't do that. That's my job. You can't start interfering in my career. Oh my god, he is so possessive. He's literally buying everything that she is a part of. No, that's oh, he still won't let her touch him. I don't understand what the difference is. Like, when you're touching her, technically she's still touching you. There's no logic there. So much for taking it slow. Keep going. <laughs> she's all cut the cooking, dinner is served. What do you want, Anastasia? I'm glad he's finally asking her what she wants instead of just doing what he wants. What do you think you're weirdest? Oh, we're gonna find out why she stayed a virgin. Okay, I'm interested. I was reading Austin and Bronte and nobody ever measured up to that. And I guess I was waiting for something exceptional. Oh, okay, see, that's what happens. A lot of the girlies out there, they look too much to fictional characters as a blueprint for what their love life should look like, when really, we have to remember that it's fiction, and real life kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, who the f is that? <gasps> is that that girl? No. Here, the check you gave me for Wanda, you should have it back. Keep it, it's $24,000. Oh, that's coming back. She's just gonna throw away 24G like that? Mm -mm. Could you please transfer $24,000 into the cannabis Anastasia Steele? No, what are you doing? My parents are hosting a charity ball tonight. I want you to come with me. And you don't need to worry about the dress. It's all gonna be taken care of. That girl again? Oh my god, what is happening? What is it? There was just a girl over there and she was outside my office yesterday. Is she a girl that he's f***ed with in the past and she's there to warn Anna? Mm. You know that girl, Kristen? I don't want you to worry about it. Oh my god, is that the Mrs. Robinson? The, like, child f***er who seduced him when he was 15? And... Why would you take me to meet the woman who seduced and abused you? Our relationship ended years ago. We're just friends and business partners. Would you take your subs there? Your subs. <laughs> Initially, my brain was like, subscribers? And then I realized, submissive, lol. YouTube brain. Why am I holding this? Oh my god. For what? Her approval? What? What is this? No. The girl that I saw this morning was one of them, wasn't she? Oh my god, look at me just like, knowing everything. You can either walk, or I can carry you. It's your <laughs> you choice. Do no, that. it's your choice. He's done it before, Anna. He'll do it again. He always Shrek Fiona you. I'll walk. She's my soap for a while, about two years ago. I knew it. I told you. When you and I were in Georgia together, she turned up here and tried to get her wrist in front of Mrs. Jones, my head. Okay, now that's twisted. Ooh. My people have been trying to find her. Your people? Is that who put this together? Oh my god, does he have a file on her? <gasps> he does! That's creepy. Oh my god, he just gets worse. Did he have like a private investigator follow her or something? I had them drawn up on any perspectives of this. <laughs> nice. Jesus. Oh, perspective. So he goes out and looks for them and then gets people to follow them and basically stalk them and find out information about them. This man just gets all kinds of f***ed up, even more. All of this is wrong. You put money into my account that I, I don't want it. You bought the company I work for. This isn't a relationship, Christian. It's ownership. Mm, okay, look, I'm glad she's self-aware. Thank you, because this is what I've been saying. Wanting to get close to you. It's really difficult to do that when you keep doing bizarre things like this. And it's really difficult to do that when you won't let me touch you. I'm not that wrong. Oh, we're going to finally figure out what those scars are from. Was it Mother's Cigarettes or something? I hope that's not one of those 24-hour lipsticks, because mm, that's going to stain. Those are my boundaries. Okay, so we're not going to find out what the scars are from. We're just finding out which parts of him he doesn't want to be touched. Bought all of those so she could choose from them. Okay. Why does he have a bunch of women stuff in his house? Tonight might be more stimulating. Who are these? Do they vibrate? I need to know. Don't worry. They're for your ears. <laughs> <laughs> what she laughed, it tingled. Did I mention it was a mask ball? No. Oh my god, I love Masquerade Balls. The Vampire Diaries Season 2, Episode 5, where they go to the Masquerade Ball and Catherine goes ahead and kills a bitch. Oh, I love Masquerade Balls. I'm into this. Any new bodyguards need to wear these too? Just being safe. You won't even notice they're here. Safe from who, that girl? Your old submissive? Of course she's wearing grey. Working to make life better for the children of parents addicted to drugs. Everything okay? And now, thankfully... <laughs> Penelope! Oh no, you're giving me talk back. Okay, you're gonna talk back to me, huh? She's still a child. She's not even a year old yet. She's so needy, always wanting daddy's attention. 
week's vacation at a luxury chalet in Aspen, Colorado, donated by Mr. Christian Gray. $24,000. Oh, she's going to get rid of that money he bought for her, which is funny considering he already owns the place. So you guys get it. The money was for you. And now it'll go to someone that needs it. I don't know whether to worship at your feet or spank you. Take option two. Oh, God. His parents are at the table. Let's go. Wait, so the balls didn't even vibrate. He just like stuck them up there and every time she moved, she felt something. I was hoping it'd be like one of those things where you control it from your phone. It's too much. You have to tell me to stop understood. Okay, good. We're having boundaries. Little lights. Okay, it's so tame. And she's like gasping for air, okay. I guess she don't got much cheek to cushion it. Me on the other hand, you really have to get into it for me to feel it. <laughs> okay, well give her a bit of time. <laughs> Do you ever feel like when someone's like for me, it like puts more pressure on it and you're like, oh well, and now you're like in your head and like makes it take so much longer. <gasps> There's that girl. Who's this? Oh my God. Was oh, that his mother? Is that your mother? I don't want to talk about it. Let's go. Oh, who's this? God, there's a lot more mystery going on in this one. Christian has a date. Is that the Mrs. Robinson? I know what you did to Christian. All I did was lead him to the truth of who he really is. Without me, he'd be in jail or dead. God, this woman is so cynical. He needs a submissive in life, not just in the bedroom. It's not what he wants anymore, but it's what he needs. And you don't strike me as the type of woman who wants to be owned. Mm, this woman is up. You know, swing it whatever way you want, but you're still a pedophile. Whatever happens between me and Christian is none of your goddamn business. So you stay the f away from us. Period, Anna. Mm. She should have slapped her. What did Leah say to you? Nothing I didn't already know. What well, I feel like something bad's gonna happen here. I have like an ominous feeling. Stay yeah, I told you something bad's gonna happen. I just have like a sixth sense. I'm really good at predicting stuff. <coughs> Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <sighs> is that is it gonna be that girl again? Oh, someone trashed his car. <gasps> that's that's her car. Oh my god. Surely they have cameras down there with all of those expensive cars. Like going on a boat now. How many vehicles and homes does he own? I know how difficult it is for you to open up what it means the world to me. It means you love me. Yes, I do. I think it's the first time they said that I love you to each other. Do you remember your birthday? I try not to. What happened to her? They found her body three days later. Where were you? I was with him. Oh, that's sad. <gasps> Taylor! I just want to live forever. I just want to keep carrying your name until you come back home. Oh my god, Taylor being in this movie? Highlight. Hey, Jeff. Personal calls on your own time, okay? Rude. Okay, now he's salty because he can't get with her. Mm, men switch up like that. Did you book our rooms for New York yet? Sorry? New York. Book Expo. It's Friday. It's in the diary. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, I booked your room, of course. And you expected that my assistant also attends? Don't be so f***ing rude! I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Just get yourself a room. Unless you'd rather stay back with your boyfriend. I mean, it's not like you need to work. Oh, this man can literally get to walk into the street like Tony Stoneham from Skin Season 1 and get hit by a f***ing bus, except this time I won't be sad about it. Oh my god, is she going into the sex dungeon? Mm, she's gonna get a little reminiscing. Oh. Okay, so now you're just like hurting her, because there's no way that was a turn on. I thought she didn't want to do the BDSM and now she back to it. She switched up real quick. So what, does that just keep her legs open? You guys can't just do that without the tool. <laughs> Oh, he expanded them legs. Mm. Oh, that could have caused an injury. This isn't some sort of vacation. It's a work trip with my boss. You know, he's had three assistants in the last 18 months, all of whom quit without notice. That doesn't surprise me. That man's a creep. You don't think I can handle him? Anna, I know full well that you can handle anything. If you really want to go, I can't stop you. But I'd like to take you there myself. Okay. God, I hate it when we fight. That wasn't a fight. That was a conversation. Someone who's had a lot of trauma, you don't really understand what a fight is. Oh, the creepy boss in the background. What's he going to do? I just know he's going to do some sly shit. Leaving? Um, I was actually just about to come talk to you uh, about New York. Is there a problem? I'm so grateful for the opportunity, Jack, but with such short notice, I made plans that I can't change. Uh, I think you have tremendous potential here, but I don't want to waste my time training someone who doesn't take this position seriously. I do. This is my dream job. Well, then shouldn't... Going to New York and the Book Expo be part of that dream. 
It is. You can't just like say like, oh, it's expected for the assistant to come, but not actually tell her that she has to come and then get mad at her because she can't come. It was just a misunderstanding and it won't happen again. Because there are plenty of qualified people who would kill for this job. Oh, that's always what f***ed up bosses I'm, say. I'm just not seeing the initiative on your side of it. I've read more than you've asked me to. I'm on top of it. I'm talking about going the extra mile. No, he was checking there was no one there. What is he gonna do? I am nervous, y'all. I don't like creepy white male bosses. My boyfriend has a reputation for being a little ruthless. Is that what you like? Oh. If you have a problem with my work, then you should take it up with HR. Oh, I ain't being so serious. Because it's a job. Oh, wait, what do you think I'm gonna do? Make you fine? Hey. <gasps> Jack. Nah, I told you I can spot a rat when I see one. I just nah. said that. Nah, nah, what's happening here? Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you're gonna f*** your way to prominence, then you should do it with someone who can at least make you smarter. You're disgusting. You're vile. The fact that you think that she's only sleeping with Christian for prominence. Like, just because you were dating or interested in a rich man doesn't mean you always want them for their money or their status. This man is disgusting. Don't. Don't what? Hmm? I'd like to leave, please, Jack. Us. Oh, nah. Y'all, this is so gross. I can make you come like nobody else has. How would you know how he makes her Not him. Not anyone. How do you know what's good for her? No. Oh, oh yes, get him, Anna. Yes. Kick him in the That's what he deserves. Castrate him if you must. Hi, Jack. Don't touch me. No, yes, no, no, Christian. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> sorry, I, I don't know where that came from. I just hate people who like chase people and put their power on them. <laughs> no, thank you, Jack. Good night. Hi, Tal. You've been fired. See, I knew that boss was off the second he hit the screen. Are you asking me to move in with you? Oh, big step. Can I think about it? Sure. Uh, what are you doing now that Jack Hyde's gone? Well, Liz mentioned something temporary. Okay, so why don't you fill in for Jack temporarily? Um. Great. To SIP's new fiction editor. Acting fiction editor. Now, maybe we could take this celebration home. Take off your panties. At the restaurant? I know. Saucy. Isn't this like a public nuisance or something? I mean, I guess as long as you can't see the it's fine. What's he gonna do to run this elevator? I just know he gonna do something. Is he gonna think of anchor in the elevator? The oh my god, I was right. He's doing something up there. Oh my god, it can happen that quick? I thought the female situation was a lot more complicated than that. Take it, I'm just gonna grab some stuff to go with you. No, it's okay, I'll be two seconds. Mm, something's gonna happen in that apartment. Cause like he was gonna go up with her and now he's not. How did she have such a nice apartment on an assistant salary in the first place? She's gonna be in there, that creepy girl. Don't be in there, I just know it. Something's gonna happen, I feel it guys. <gasps> I told you. Oh my god, my mind. How did she even get in there? Christian is downstairs. Do you want to see him? <gasps> she got a gun. I came to see you. Oh no. He lets you call him by his name. He talks about you all the time. He cares about you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, geez. The way my body just like, the shivers that I just felt. Y'all, I don't like guns. I mean, I don't know anyone who, well, there are people who do. Jeez, I need a, ooh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> don't lie. Tell me what you have that I don't. Um, sanity? Nothing. He'll get tired of me. I know you love him. I do too. We all do. We all do? Oh my god, is there like a big group of them? Are there more psychos out there that she's gonna put up with? Why don't you put the gun down? You don't know him. What he likes. You don't give him what he wants. He's pretending with you. Oh my god. She won't shoot him. She like is obsessed with him too much. Unless she has that whole mentality of like, you're either mine or you're no one's. No, Christian. Yeah. Oh my god, she still listens. This is so creepy. Oh, Anna, run for the hills, girl. Anna, go this girl away from me there. For once, just do what you're told. Oh god, this is so messed up. Oh, oh my god, is she gonna run? Yes, I knew it, girl. Get away. Leave. Don't come back. There should be a wake-up call that he's got messed up people in his life. Girl, you gotta be a runner and a track star. You're gonna run away when it gets hard. I feel like she would be too scared to even go home now. Like, now that that person had easy access to getting into her apartment. Where the f*** 
Could you beg? Uh, maybe processing the trauma you're putting her through? I told you to come straight here. I've had people out combing the streets looking for you. I'm sorry I don't always do as I'm told. Maybe you just really need someone who obeys every command. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, is that not what you want? You're literally a dominant who wants a submissive to submit themselves to you? God, this man literally cannot make up his mind. It's all the way you were with Leela. She had a gun, Anna. I would have done anything to subdue her. Is she here? She's in the psych ward getting the help that she needs. I know she scared you. Yeah, she scared me. But you scared me more. Oh. Okay. Seeing you like that with her. Yeah, it was pretty creepy. I'll never be able to give you that kind of submission and obedience. Yeah, like, why does he want these people to act like dogs? I need the space. No, oh, please don't do Christian, this. Christian. Don't give up on me. I just need to think a little bit. Don't leave me. What are you doing? Get up. Oh, now he's gonna submit. Okay. Oh, yes, can she up him? I'm scared. I know you say that I'm enough. But there are certain things that you are used to getting that I will never, ever, ever be able to give you. See, she has that fear that he's going to get bored of her. What's going to happen when you start needing them again? I won't. How can I believe you? I don't even understand your need to dominate. I'm not a dominant. The right term is a sadist. I get off on punishing women. Women who look like you. Like your mother. Yes. Oh my god, bombshell. Bombshell. He... That that makes sense because that girl did kind of look like Anna. So he's like the like skinny brunettes, like he like look like his mother. He wants to like oh my god, okay, whoa, the dots are connecting. But like you like doing stuff to women in a way like because of your mother. Ugh, your parents should play no role in your life. And I know how f that is. Oh, it's very f up. When you left, I swore that I would stop it if that's what it took to get you back. But I'm done with it. You mean more to me than anything else. I want to believe you. I do, but I can't. I... <gasps> She's letting him touch him in his no-go area. Oh my god, that's sweet. This is me. All of me. She finally gets to grab in face. <laughs> no. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe this is why he didn't let women sleep with him because of his nightmares. Oh my god, everything's clicking in this movie. I want you to marry me. What? You're gonna propose to her after all of that? Oh my god. Christian, I think you're dreaming. Look at those little lines pointing towards the tush. Mm. Out all night? Hmm. Oh, so he doesn't remember. Do you have any weird dreams or anything or like wake up at all? I mean, there was a the little thing of asking you to marry me, but uh, aside from that, no, nothing. Don't mess with me like that. No, I meant it. I wanna marry you. Why? Because I want to spend every second of the rest of my life with you. He, where's the ring? Come on, do it properly. You're that rich and you're going to give this lackluster of a proposal? Mm -mm. I don't expect you to say yes right away. Well, I have to go to Portland for some meetings. I'll be back tomorrow night. I'm going to, is someone still watching them? That looks like a person POV. Wait, what's happening? He's going down, 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 down. Cause baby, when the sky comes falling down, down. Don't tell us what happened then, okay. Kristen's chopper went missing on the way back from Portland. Oh, it went missing. Come on, let's go. They'll find him. He'll be okay. It's Christian. Oh, by the way, yeah, I never show her because her scenes are relevant, but Rita Ora is in this movie. I guess. I'm like a black widow, baby. We haven't had any time. You're going to have plenty of time. He's fine, y'all. This is the third movie. That's what I always say when I watch these movies with as a sequel. I'm like, we know they're not dead. <laughs> Kristen Gray and his colleague Ross Bailey have been found safe and well. There you go. Told you. He's fine. Ugh. All that drama for nothing. What the hell are y'all doing here? God, Christian. Can you say hi to my girl? Okay. Yeah, sorry, I don't know why that was so cringe to me. I gotta say hi to my girl. Miss me? <laughs> I lost you. Miss me? What was the point of him getting in a helicopter accident? Was it just to like show the stakes of like how much she loves him? Maybe this will push her to say yes to the proposal? Like, because he's perfectly fine, barely injured, which doesn't even make sense. How can you crash a helicopter and be fine? You still have that gift I gave you. I bet you the gift is gonna say something in it about like yes to the proposal. Keychain. Turn it over. Yeah, what does it say in the back? It's gonna say like yes or something. Yeah, I told you. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. 
they're gonna get married. Um, so this whole time I had the answer in my pocket. Oh, <gasps> take me to the red room. Okay. Oh, why are they playing Halsey? Nah, you ruined it. Okay, he's chaining up her hands. Okay. Come on, give us something interesting. We're almost at the end of the movie, so it's gotta be like the lock scene. Oh, he's f***ing on them hips. Okay. I know. Yeah, that's good. Not that, like, he mentioned the whole thing about his mother. That... It's a bit weird to me now. What is that, oil? Okay. I thought it was poppers. <laughs> okay, he's hitting it from the side, guys. You know, when you kind of go in the fetal position and then, you know, that one. So she's just blindfolded and has her hands chained up. I think I just need to stop expecting much from the BDSM scenes because as you can see, it's like a low key vanilla BDSM. So I'm just expecting more. Like how hard is it to put a ball gag in her mouth? Champagne, Mr. Pitt. Thanks, Gretchen. And can I just say happy birthday? Thank you. Oh, Gretchen girl, get it together. Christian. I heard about the crash. Not this bitch. Oh, Anna, let me introduce you my good friend, Elena Lincoln. If only that mother knew what that bitch did to her son. Anna, come up here a second, please. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so a while ago, I was lucky enough to meet this amazing young woman. Very quickly, I realized that she was the one I wanted to share my life with. So I asked her to marry me. And she said yes. <laughs> Yeah, Jacob, stay mad. <laughs> Even in this story, you don't win. Can we not look at this bitch's face? Like, she disgusts me. And who would have thought that if that bitch never got sick, then Anna would have never gone to the interview. She would have never met Christian. Funny how life works. I see you hated our little talk. What makes you think I would ever listen to you? You don't care about Christian. How do you know? I hate when people just make statements about how people feel. Like, are you in their mind? Shut the f up. Shut the f up. I'll see that. I'll make sure of it. I'll see right through you. It's over for you, Elena. You're just a mousy little thing after his money. How do you know? Ugh. He's not capable of marriage. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's one thing I've always wanted to do is throw a drink in someone's face and never have. And that had alcohol in it, so that's gotta sting. She's not ready for you. You don't know what she is. <gasps> is that his mother in the background? You tell me how to f Elena. And I tell me how to love. She's just the next one in line. Get out of my house. Yeah! Oh! This is so good. Leave my children alone and get the hell out of my house. Next stop, jail. Would you give us a moment alone, please? Oh my god, this is the first time the mother's finding out. This would be a lot. Elena's gone. Like gone, gone? I'm done. The business, everything. I know she was important to you. I'm sorry. Are you? No. No. <laughs> yes. That's good. Come with me. There's something I need to show you. Oh, what now? God, he's always got something to show her. Oh, he loves pulling the Shrek Fiona situation. Ooh, an indoor swimming pool. Oh, he's gonna give her the ring. He's gonna give her the ring. This is amazing. Oh my God. Oh, it's big. That's a chunker. Oh. Share my life with me. Bury me. Oh, not gonna lie, it <laughs> is kind of cute. Like a little teeny weeny weeny bit cute. Fireworks? Oh my god, who's that? Is that the boss? What's he doing there? Please, I thought we were done with this cream. He's the one who took the photo at the ball. Okay, I kind of figured. Okay, he really hates Christian. I wonder why. Probably have to wait till the next movie to figure that out. God, he's made a lot of enemies. Mm. Is that the end? Oh, okay. Let's give our overall thoughts. So in the comments of my video on the first movie, a lot of you said that the second film was a lot better. Now it was, I felt like there wasn't as much for me to make fun of or comment on because the movie wasn't as cringe as the first one. That one was like cringe fest. I think overall this movie, I enjoyed watching it more than I did the first one because there was like drama and a bit of a plot and all that kind of stuff. It was interesting getting to meet Mrs. Robertson for the first time, Elena, and seeing that crazy girl that used to be his submissive and now we have this guy so i feel like they're giving us a plot which i appreciate and i am actually kind of excited to see what happens in the final movie and see how they wrap this all up but overall the bdsm was more vanilla in this film than it was in the first and obviously like it's annoying because it's like oh that's the whole thing of the the show the movies you want to react to it all that kind of stuff but i am glad that he's listening to her and actually 
you know, falling in love with her and being in love with her instead of just, like, having this weird sub-dom situation that she doesn't really want. So I feel like overall, they're heading in a positive direction. But overall, it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was, it was yeah. So <laughs> let me know what you guys thought about the movie in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. Check out all my socials and whatnot in the description. And yeah, guys, that's it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see my next one. And as always, I hope that you have a great day or night wherever you're in the world. Bye! Bye.